I created the same animation in every AI video generator to see which one gives the best results. AI videos are getting absolutely crazy day by day with Google's View 3, Kling, and Minimax Halo. I put them all to the test. I compared them across different aspects, whether it be generation time, cost, and camera movements. To get started with animations, I need multiple consistent scenes with multiple consistent characters. To get multiple scenes with different consistent characters, I use Google AI Studio to generate consistent characters. Once you're on Google AI Studio, make sure to choose in the model section Google's Flash Preview Image Generator for optimal results. I'll keep it simple for the prompt. I asked it to give me five images telling a story of a magician finding his book and also told him to keep the characters consistent and boom there we go not only generates images but also maintains consistency develops a storyline now it's that easy and free for everyone to use you can also use image to image but keep in mind the model might start hallucinating in that mode once you have your images and storyline set up, it's time to get the animations going. For that, I'll let the AI voice I generated from Minimax take over. Let's start with Google's VO3. I'm trying out a storyline that doesn't require dialogue or sound because only VO3 has that kind of capability. There's actually a way for everyone to use VO3 for free. I already made a video about that. Once you're on the VO3 tab using Google's Flow, you upload your image. For the first scene I pasted in, the guy walks in a desert. The temple is behind him. Such a remarkable generation. I personally feel this is top notch. The only thing missing is a little zoom in from the camera. Next, I wanted a scene from inside the temple, and this is what Veo3 generated. I wanted the camera to follow his hands. This particular generation was made using Veo3's fast version, one of their latest models, but it doesn't support sound. Again, the camera panning is a little off with Veo3. For the next one, I tried a scene where he's searching for the book. This is what VO3 came up with. I think it's pretty good. I had two more scenes and just ran a whole montage of what Google VO3 generated. So far, so good. For the fourth scene, the prompt was something like, now that he has found the book, he's scratching over it as the camera pans to his face. I feel like the face is missing though. And finally, when he reads the book, some glow comes out of it as the camera zooms in. All in all, I feel even the sound was on point with Google's VO3. Right off the bat, a big advantage VO3 has is how well it handles audio and visual cohesion. We could have done a lot more with better prompting and better facial expressions. Now, let's see if we can do better with the same prompts using Minimax Hilu. The free version gives you only 100 credits per day, and each generation costs 30 credits. Guys, if you're into AI content, do like and subscribe. The one unique thing about Minimax is the camera control. I tried adding a zoom in effect. Not gonna lie, it looked kind of funny, like something out of a horror movie. But hey, he's a magician, so maybe we can justify that. 
For the second prompt, I didn't add any camera effect, just left it as is. Here's what I got. It's a little glitchy, but I feel it still works. With better prompting, it could definitely be improved. After compiling all the Hailu videos, I noticed they were quite glitchy overall. For most scenes, I didn't add any camera effects, but whether I did or didn't, the result still looked buggy. Like in the fourth scene, the camera panned to his face out of nowhere. So I feel Veo3 did a much better job here. Now let's talk about Kling. Kling now has the ability to add AI-generated sound effects as well. I used Kling 1.6, the free version. In the image to video section, just upload your image give the prompt, and that's it. The generation wasn't bad at all. The camera had some subtle movement. You can also let the AI generate sound effects. There's a section called AI Sound. Once you click it, it creates a sound prompt. And here we go. Not gonna lie, a little glitchy. There were random photographic sound effects too. But all in all, not bad. I generated the next scene and it gave quite a realistic feel. I didn't use any sound effects there. Adding sound would have made it worse. I'll skip to when all the scenes are compiled. Kling actually did a good job. It followed the prompts really well. Maybe even better than Google's VO3 in some cases. For the fourth scene, the prompt was to make it in slow motion. And for the fifth, when the magician reads the book, some magical flair comes out of it. Personally, I feel for prompt deterrence, Kling was the best of the three. But for overall presentation, VO3 obviously has the edge to it. In terms of generation time, VO3 I felt was the fastest, then came Kling and Halo Minimax took a lot of generation time. For some odd reason, its videos weren't on par but still took a lot of time. So that's my comparison of the generations, hopefully you learned something new from it. Let me know what you think.